Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Technology and today in this video tutorial I will show you guys how to clone a Windows 11 to your new SSD or hard drive so you just need to follow me. So at first you just need to open your browser and you just need to go to this website which is clonezilla.org Rufus. So I will give you all the link to my video description after go to this website. You just need to select here clonezilla website you just need to select here file type ISO and after that click on download and it will show you this window now it will automatically download on your computer and after that you just need to download rufus so after go to this website you just need to click on rufus portable and so here are the three files as you can see so first i will open rufus and click on yes now click on no and here i just need to select my usb drive here is my 32 gb pen drive Okay, so you just need to insert your pen drive on your computer. After that, click on select. Now you just need to select clonezilla uh, ISO file. So here it is, as you can see. So I will click on open. And, and after that, you just need to, uh, after that, you just need to click on the start button. Click on OK. Then yes. Click on OK. After done, you just need to boot from your USB drive, okay? So after uh, reboot your computer, you just need to boot from your pen drive. So just select your bootable device. In my case here it is, which is showing over here. So I will select that. As you can see, it's giving me the screen. So I will select the first option, which is Clonezilla Live. And after that, press enter. So now here I will choose the language which is English by default as you can see which is selected over here. So I will press enter, select and here I will select keep uh, the default keyboard layout. So I will click on enter. Now here I will select start cl clone Gila. Okay. And here you will get lots of option over here. So I will the second option I will choose which is device to device means work directly from a desk or partition to a uh, to a desk or partition okay so i will select second option okay after that press enter now here i will choose a beginner mode which is the first one so i will press enter now i'll select here the first option which is uh, desk to local desk okay now press enter Now here, as you can see, showing over here, like choose local desk as source, means from where you want to copy your uh, files. So I will select here my 240 GB uh, WDC, okay? So I will select that option. And here you just need to put your destination, okay? So where you want to copy, so I will copy on HDB, okay. So here as you can see, choose the local desk as target. So I will select uh, this one, which is my Western Digital Green, uh, a one TV SSD. So I will press enter from here. Now here on this window, you just need to select here, skip checking option, which is the first one. Now press enter. Now here you just need to select the first one which is use the partition table. Now choose the first option which is choose reboot shut down etc. After that here you will get uh, press enter to continue. So I will press enter. Now here you just need to press Y button from your keyboard. Just press Y. And here it is as you can see and after that press enter again you just need to press Y button and press enter
So after reboot your PC and if you open your my computer you will see you see that I be showing over here. So here is my new uh, C drive. So if you are confused, well, it is your new C drive or old C drive, then I will show you guys the how to check it. So just right click on your start menu, click on uh, desk management over here and you will see my uh, desk 2 which is the old uh, hard drive. It's, it is only uh, 250 GB. It's showing offline over here. So I can online from here and the new one is uh, here it is 1 GB. Okay. So here is the C drive. So you can easily expand your uh, C drive uh, size from here. Okay. And here is my C drive. As you can see, it's working properly. So from here, I can easily delete my old uh, C drive. Okay. Old hard drive. So I hope this quick tutorial will really help for you. And please don't forget to click on the subscribe button, like button and share button. And if you have any questions or questions, then comments down below. I will see you guys in the next one next video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.